Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim, I'm a fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, welcome back. It's good to see you. I just wanna say thank you so much for all your emails, comments, questions that you sent to me. I love you guys so much. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I do wanna let you know, I see them come in. I can't always answer them right away, but I'm sending you my love and just be patient with me. I will get them to you. If you guys like these videos, remember to hit subscribe down below. It's that red button down below and I will show up in your mailbox every Thursday and we can hang out. Today, we are talking about the 4th of July. That's right, the 4th of July is a massive holiday out there for all you Americans. As Canadians, sometimes we have fun celebrating it too. Um, but I always get emails and questions about, I wanna wear something really cool to the 4th of July. Give me something that I can wear. So today is all about outfit ideas for the 4th of July. For my first look, I chose to start with something casual, a pair of simple white Levi's jean shorts, a blue and white striped top, and this funky blue sweater. So the sweater really is the piece. That is what makes the outfit. This sweater I got from a brand called Gypsy Soul. I love it. So if you were out on the boat, you could throw the sweater on top of your jean shorts, your bathing suit. If you're at a barbecue, you could wear it. You could really wear it with anything. I actually have one in maroon and I wear it all the time. For look two, I chose a casual look of denim on denim. This off the shoulder top, super trendy right now. I love it, it's easy to wear. If it's hot outside and you're going to a barbecue or something casual, these culottes, short, free, don't have to worry about sucking your stomach in or if your legs aren't tanned. Throw them on with a pair of Birkenstocks. This is a very casual 4th of July look. If your 4th of July is a little more dressy, I found the most amazing dress at Gypsy Soul. This one is red and white stripes. It's got a little ruffled bottom. I've paired it with a pair of Steve Madden faux leather shoes. I think it's so cute. If you're going to something that's more dressy, a dinner party or something in the evening, I absolutely love this little dress. If it's going to be cold in the evening, you can add a white jacket of some type. I've added this white deconstructed blazer. This one happens to be from Aritzia, but you could use anything. You could also use a white jean jacket if it's a little more casual. What is the 4th of July without a little white dress? This one I found at my girlfriend's boutique influence. I'll put the link down below. It's easy to wear, you can throw it on. I've styled it with a pair of heels, but you can also throw it on with a pair of Converse and a jean jacket. Easy to wear, easy to throw on, and how cute is this? I took a red top that I have from BCBG last year and paired it with this Tyler Madison faux leather skirt and a kimono. I love it. If you're going to something dressy, this is a really cute look. I've dressed it down a little bit with the kimono but kept it elegant because the kimono is lace. I love this look. Again, if you're going to something dressy, white skirt, red top, blue top, kimono, great look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you love those outfits and I hope that they sparked some creativity in you. Remember, don't be afraid. You don't have to go the commercial route. You can go dig up some really cool things and use some fun colors. You can paint on t-shirts yourself. Like, have a little fun, live a little, and enjoy yourself. So remember, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below and I will show up in your mailbox. And if you like my outfits, I post them usually on Instagram so you can check me out over there. Style by Kim XO. I will see you guys all soon. Happy 4th of July. Okay.